I love another five men. I love. It is fickle, isn't it? I insist you'll marry me. Do you hear? I like you more than ever for adopting a strong man tone, Arthur dear. But unfortunately, Cupid does not yet shut an arrow into my heart. He has banned plenty of arrows of me and has always missed the point. Where do you shoot for me? I'm afraid that you're an outer old boy. Will you give me a kiss to go on with until you make up your mind? Of course. I, I will.
Yes, I do. I was working to do well in my MD for two reasons. First, because I wanted to show you that I was that I understood and I was awfully grateful to you for having gone without things to pay my fees and keep me. Thanks, old man. And second, well, that's it. The second reason I suddenly crumbled. I've not I've worked for nothing as far as that's concerned. I never know until just now. Just now since you did it? Yes. Don't ask me what it is. Sounds stable enough. But I'm the sort of idiot who goes for building up castles in the air. But a castle is no good to me unless the right person is going to share it with me. I've made a hopeless mistake. And so I shall chop everything and go out to Canada or somewhere and get into, a, a, into something else. I know I am the short in here, but I was told to ask you both to come into the drawing room. <laughs> Why don't you go into the drawing room? I want to be alone with you. Do you, Jack? Alone with me? Which? It was no surprise, no news to me, that Mr. Lloyd telegraphed that I knew you'd pass. Why? Because I know you. You said you would. Why waste those? Those beautiful things on me. Unless, of course, you want to say them to me to keep your hands in. I don't think being successful quite suits you, Harry. Oh, why? Well, you've been quite a different Harry this evening. And I'm likely to be the same different Harry in the future. Oh, so you know you've been different then? In exactly the same way that a man knows that his arms have been sneaked off by a machinery. Yes. However, it doesn't matter. Do you want a well-built castle in the air? South aspect? Drawing room 25 by 25? Water hot and cold? An acre of garden suitable to a young married couple? No offer of use must be sold by order of the devil. You're talking like the rapper. Beat our hero for romantic drama. Well, why quarrel with me for that? They always talk 50% better than anybody else. Make the most of it. You'll soon hear nothing but Arthur's commonplace prattling. Shock? Why? Well, I suppose you won't gag the man when you're his wife, will you? Arthur's wife? I hadn't intended to think about that for some time. But when I do think of it, I don't want to think of it. No, my mind's made up. You don't appear to be talking to me. I'm not. I've just set up rather an important point. That's all. Arthur asked me to marry him to when I suddenly bumped in on the kissing episode. See, yes, that's right. What <laughs> 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 a memory you've got. Right, my daughter. Wish I had. Well, what would you like me to give you? I've got a beautiful collection of medical books you can have. Bright to read in. I'm not married. You're talking like an idiot. What do you mean? Don't hurt my arms, Harry. Blow your arms? What are you bothering about? I saw Arthur kiss you. Are you or are you not engaged to him? No, I'm not. Then why did he kiss you? Because I told him he might. Why? Because he loves me to love him. You love him? And yet you're not going to marry him? You're talking rough. Why call a thing rough? Simply because you don't understand it. I love several men, but I don't think I'm going to marry them. <laughs> 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 because I love you, but I don't think I'm going to marry you. What did you say? Harry, if you shout like that, your mother will think I'm hurting you. Did you say that you love me? Or am I off my head? You're really hurting my arm. Don't feel it. You'll shake all my herpins out. Tell me what you said. When? I forgot. <laughs> I don't wish you wouldn't shake me as though you're going to take me. I will take you, you little wretch. You said that you love me. Why are you pretending I didn't feel? And if you love me, you're going to marry me. Why? Because I love you, that's only a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now I say exactly the same thing to you. Well, I don't care. Well, I say this to you. I don't care tokens of your mind whether you make it up or not. You're going to marry me. I'll hold your arms and put up your wagging tongue until you do. Otherwise... <laughs> Otherwise what? Your hands are so strong that I'm certain you'd get all your pennies back in the try-your-strength machine. Otherwise I shall chop 
Nottering and England and the whole game and go to Canada. That would be silly. A man in love is always silly. It would also be very rough on your father and mother. A, ma a man in love forgets his father and his mother. Mary, uh -huh. you hear? All the bullying, all the threats, all the bruises in the world would make me marry you until I know for certain that I want you. How will you? Keep quiet still. Don't breathe. What's the matter? Did you see someone come into the room just then? No. <laughs> what dickens do you mean? Someone do you mean? I swear. What sort of someone? Why? All crazy and pink. With curly hair, dancing eyes, and a bow and arrow. Oh! What? <laughs> I don't understand how this is the word of all this. It doesn't matter. It's just a little private affair of my own. And now you think you to hear that I'm quite ready to walk. To what? Marry you, idiot! Oh! Thank <laughs> you.